Yo guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to yet another video and we are back with the Royal Enfield. It is below zero degrees, it is actually, as you can tell, it is snowing. The tires are made in India, this bike is made in India. This bike is 200 kilograms, 24 horsepower and I'm riding in the snow. What could possibly go wrong? Now crashing this bike is not an option. Uh, this is uh, a bike from Royal Enfield itself, so I don't really want to crash it, but just in case I crash it, this bike new is 5,900 euros. So in case I crash it, it can never be more expensive as 5,900 euros. That's a pretty good feeling. It gives me a little bit more trust to uh, ride this motorcycle. Ooh. The only thing I actually have is ABS. Uh, heated grips, uh, absolutely not. Uh, heated seat, no way Jose. And traction control and all of these things, uh, no, absolutely not. So it's just pure film, it's pure, oh my legs are getting really wet here. Oh this is not, oh it's dripping. My foot is already dripping in water. This was a bad idea. I've hardly started the video yet and this was already a sketchy idea. But, oh there's like a, a lot of water here. It's been, <coughs> it's been raining very hard uh, yesterday. So uh, it's very muddy and now it is very snowy and everything is almost frozen. Yeah. <laughs> Still those puddles are getting me really wet. Uh, tires are not ideal. They are somewhat off-road tires, but still for some reason this feels kind of sketchy. 24 horsepower. Yeah, but... Ooh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> God dang it. Now I gotta say, for some reason this bike does give me a lot of trust. I'm not really sure why, but just riding it in a snowstorm, very cold, very, very cold. I'm not gonna lie, I went back home and uh, took some uh, fatter gloves, if you can call them that way. But uh, yeah, Royal Enfield started 902, built a ton of motorcycles in the war. And now they are back, they are conquering the European market again with very fairly based, based motorcycles with a fairly good price. And of course yours truly is here to test it out right again, just to check it out if it is actually worth the cheap price because I mean 411 cc's single cylinder no electronics whatsoever we only have ABS because that's like mandatory in uh, Europe not really sure about mandatory in uh, America but I mean look at this landscape god dang it oh ooh, ooh, sliding from left to right sliding from left to right I have no idea what the underground is it has been freezing this uh, tonight so I do not really know what I'm gonna encounter just gonna go first gear first gear Oh, sorry little horsey, it's like a baby horse. Really sorry, baby horsey, really sorry, really sorry. Yo guys, what's up? What's up, it's your friend Smokey over here. Don't really worry, not gonna kill you and eat you. Not yet, maybe if I strand here and I get lost. Remember, it's not an adventure until you're lost. So yeah, I mean, the landscape, this is like pure unridden snow, unridden snow. It's going a little bit from left to right here. So I do get that my tire is a little bit clogging up. Might be a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit slippery over here. Gotta be a little bit more careful. But yeah, anyway, uh, this bike does give me a lot of trust for the short period that I've been riding it on the road. I took it like five kilometers on the road, but I'm actually really surprised. Like the low sitting position is one of my favorite things. I can actually touch the floor with my, with my two bare feet flat on the ground and absolutely like that. Yeah, like I said, it has been raining last couple of weeks and now they added some snow, so we got things like this. Oh boy. Yeah, now this is adventure. This is what I love. God dang it, this is like really hyping me up. God. No, slow slow down, Smokey, slow down. It's not your motorcycle. Take it easy. It's been snowing. There's a lot of puddles on the ground. Take it slowly. Take it slowly. Okay, okay. People always are scared of probably riding in the snow with a motorcycle, but I mean, of course, you gotta go a little bit slower and you might get surprised by things sticking out of the ground, but actually it's not that bad whatsoever. Yeah, always have to pick up my camera, indeed. Now with these adventure bikes, <laughs> now with these adventure bikes, you shouldn't only be tasting, ah, you can actually just drink from the forest we are riding. Mm, nice. Fresh powder snow. It is absolutely time for a snow angel. If you have some good gear, it doesn't really matter. 
you can make snow angels get back on the bike that's probably one of the most beautiful snow angels i've ever seen in my life Anyway, back to the Royal Enfield with no heated grips and no heated seat. Because that's all an extra expense. We do not have that. Should have brought a buddy. Should have brought a buddy that we can. can. <laughs> so yeah, riding in the snow isn't all that bad. I have to pick up my camera, just a second. Yeah. Making videos is not that easy, you know. So yeah, for reasons I cannot really explain, I actually really like this bike. Not for its it's something pure it's something i i have no idea what it is it brings me back to an age of motorcycles where there were no electronics no software upgrades no no nothing no heated grips no heated seat i do have a tripper uh, this is called a tripper and you can actually uh, hook up your app uh, the royal enfield app and hook up your phone i'm gonna open my visor here for a second and you can actually navigate with that little thing over there and of course we have the most important one that you can actually need on an adventure motorcycle <laughs> that I have not seen before that is a compass not really sure oh gotta be a little bit careful not really sure if you can tell but that thing over there is a freaking compass so now I'm going north now the north is normally a lot colder so actually I should turn the bike around and be going south but yeah not really gonna do that it has a gear indicator so I can actually see what gear I'm in which is absolutely fantastic hmm not really sure not really sure where I'm at but yeah we're just gonna just gonna follow the road ah, last couple of years of course a lot of motorcycles have been modernizing is that a word modernizing pretty it is I'm pretty sure it is uh, modernizing their motorcycles with the uh, big ass TFT screens the gauges are gone it's it's all getting very modern like a lot of electronics and this bike is like going back to basics like and for some reason I like it it's like when I, when I was riding the electrical uh, zero motorcycle. Hold on, don't leave. I know, I know. It's like a new experience. This is not really a new experience, but it's like, it feels like I'm going back in time. I'm time traveling. Gonna get into the woods. Gotta be a bit careful here with my big bags because I have the big bags on. And when I picked up this motorcycle, I already crashed. I already crashed the big bags into my trailer. Ah, oh, look at that. This trail is like a little bit open for some weird reason. And just when you're on the road thinking like, oh, the road is fine. You just go on the left here, a little bit steep slope on the snow and you're back in the single tracks. <laughs> oh, I love this place. Single tracks with a Royal Enfield in the snow. And oh, oh, that was a little bit slippery. Uh, I almost lost it right there. So yeah, it is have to be a little bit careful uh, but this single track consists of a ton a ton of corners and I mean with a stock tire this thing is actually just I'm not gonna say I'm flying through this but I'm also not having a lot of trouble managing it besides gotta be a little, 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 little. So this is like more of a life experience you know riding through the snow and it's not that bad a lot of people are probably scared riding their motorcycle in the snow but if you got a little bit of a knobby tire it's kind of a bit of a soft tire wouldn't prefer a really hard tire but your tire is a little bit soft you can do a lot of things you would be amazed how well it actually runs off-road oh, 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 oh a little bit slippery over there every single time when I tell it's not that bad it starts sliding from left to right I mean I could ride this bike for hours and days and days and days I have no idea what it is but it just feels so god dang good and for that price I mean god dang it I'm not really tested out if I can actually really uh really uh Himalayan oh lord oh lord that's not that's not going to happen that's wheelies are not no, no. Maybe, maybe if I full throttle it and let the clutch just let go. Uh, no. For some weird reason, this is like the first motorcycle in my life that I do not feel like I want to wheelie it. Now, every single motorcycle I have been riding in the last couple of years, in my lifetime to be exact, I wanted to pull wheelies with it. And for some reason... 
not even. I'm just just gonna let the clutch go and full throttle it. No, no. So yeah, um, Willys is not Willys is not really done on the Royal Enfield Himalayan. We got the handlebar, we got the headlights, we got the big ass front lights, like that, that's about it. We got the indicators left and right, we got the horn, like that. <laughs> that's a funnier ass horn. Uh, we got the ignition key on and off, and of course we got the four indicators lights, uh, the four indicator lights, the warning lights, for if you're running through traffic or you're in uh, shizzle in the manizzle. And of course you got the starting button. And that's about it. That, as, that's everything you got on the handlebar. And as for as far as the display goes, like I said, the old good gauges, your tripper to navigate, your RPMs don't really don't really need that little RPM screen, but it is there and it's good to see. Your fuel gauge, your fuel gauge, and just looking at going if you're going north, east, east, south, or west. Got to work on my vocabulary. Vo and of course, we got the shift indicator. Now, I really like that shift indicator. A basic motorcycle with a shift indicator, that's like, yeah, absolutely like that. Absolutely like that. Of course, I do prefer my uh, 1290 KTM in most uh, cases, because I like the raw power and the LC8 engine and whatnot. But this thing, I would just buy this for when it's like really muddy, really greasy, and I want to go on a really crazy adventure. As like now, when it's snowing, when the weather is like absolutely nuts, I would prefer taking this. When it's not the weather time to pull some wheelies out of season and you're like, nah, I'm a little bit too scared to ride my motorcycle off season because it's raining and you know, like that. You should get one of these. Now, I do have to take a very long test. I'm not really, I'm, I've not been doing a really long test with this, but the seating position, the comfort of the seat, and it is fast enough. I mean, for what it is and for what it's supposed to do, it's not bad at all. So yeah. Anyway, my final conclusion, first ride with the Royal Enfield during a snowstorm. It's not storming anymore, it's just a little bit snowing over here. It's an A-plus bike. It's like, it's really good. It's really fun and I really like it a lot. Anyway, let me know in the comments what else I should do with this motorcycle. Next couple of videos I will be doing uh, more of a review about the motorcycle. Uh, taking it out again on a bigger adventure, gonna do some highway, top speed testing, gonna do all that. And of course the more uh, in-depth video uh, talking about the specifics and the specifications of this motorcycle so yeah hope to catch you guys in the next one hope you like this one make sure you subscribe like this video and i will see you guys in the next one peace and drive safe thank you for watching and if you want to watch more videos click over here to watch my favorite video or the last one over there and if you want to subscribe click right yeah sorry about that <laughs>